Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're gonna be looking at some ICM photography. Now, I've never done that on the channel before. In fact, the closest I ever got to doing some ICM photography was when I accidentally left the camera on a slow shutter speed and took a shot and moved the camera. And I'll show you that shot now. I was quite pleased with it. So this is why I'm quite happy to try to do some ICM today and today we're going to be using the Panasonic FZ82 to be honest you could use absolutely any digital camera as long as you have the ability to control the shutter speed and also the ability to attach a neutral density filter like this today I'm going to be using a variable neutral density filter and there's a reason for that which I shall explain and that is because I don't have a four stop or six stop neutral density filter, which is pretty much the ideal thing to use on a day like today with the bright sunshine to make sure that your camera can operate with a slow enough shutter speed. Recently, there have been plenty of videos on ICM, but why should you watch this one? Well, I'm gonna explain how you can do it We're using a simple camera, like a bridge camera or a compact camera. As I say, as long as you can attach that ND filter and control the shutter speed, it doesn't matter what camera you have to use. You don't have to be Tom Heaton with the latest bit of kit or any of the other fancy photographers. In fact, one of my favorite photographers uses an older DSLR camera. That's Andy Gray. He's based up in Northumberland, right in the Newcastle area. He shoots some absolutely fantastic ICM images using a, a DSLR and to be honest I think he's pretty much the the go-to guy if you want to get into ICM photography. Now we're going to have a few different techniques to enable us to get these shots. Firstly moving the camera up and down which is perfect for things like the pier here where we've got these vertical struts especially if you're looking side on and you want to extend those further down into the sand and the other technique obviously if you're shooting the horizon is to move the camera left to right like this and that will give you a shot where everything's nice and blurred and smooth the third technique is the one that Andy Gray uses which is to move the camera like this or like that and what happens then is you actually are dragging part of the sky down into your image it gives a nice swirling effect and really gives a really nice creative look to the images so i'm going to be demonstrating all three techniques in the photographs today i will let you into a secret i didn't shoot these images right now today i did them a week or so ago and then i was ill with cold and you could tell on the video that I wasn't very well so I decided to redo all of the b-roll and all of the pieces to camera so I hope you don't mind but I'm going to show you a whole series of images using the same technique and I'll show you what shut speeds are used and again as I say a variable ND filter on the front and the camera set to shutter priority
So I hope that's at least made you intrigued about ICM photography and its potential. I hope that you've enjoyed the images and if you have done please do give the video a thumbs up, it really helps the channel out an awful lot. And if you'd like to see me try a lot of other different types of photography styles and projects then please join the channel by subscribing and you'll get to see those videos especially if you ring that notifications bell. So finally thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again in another video. Goodbye for now.